The School of Electrical Sciences at IIT Goa covers a broad spectrum of electrical engineering, starting from power and control engineering, circuits and microengineering, to communication and signal processing. We also offer a specialized industry-ready master's program, that is M.Tech in electrical engineering, with specializing in power and control, VLSI and signal processing. We also offer PhD program covering the broad spectrum of electrical engineering. Our school has state-of-the-art teaching and research facilities handled by our faculty members who are world-class researchers. In our research group, we primarily work in the area of power electronics and motor drives. We, uh, there are two areas which we work on. One is the modular multi-level inverters for AC motor drives and the other is development of inductive power transfer schemes for electric vehicle battery charging. In, the, in our lab, we have developed a five-level modular multi-level converter prototype on which we deploy the novel schemes which we developed for PWM and control applications and then test the efficacy and performance of the same. We also have developed various uh, to, uh, inductive power transfer topologies using resonant converters for electric vehicle bat wireless battery charging applications. So we try to solve industry relevant problems in this, uh, this thing uh, in our lab and uh, we have state of the art measurement systems and rapid control uh, prototyping uh, platforms for us to quickly uh, develop and deploy the schemes which we have developed. At the Electrical Machines and Drives Lab, uh, we are working on low-cost and energy-efficient motor technologies for electric vehicles and variable speed drives. Our scholars are uh, carrying out research on magnetic gate generators for ocean wave energy conversion and wind energy conversion. Our lab is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities for research like uh, software uh, for finite element analysis of machine modeling and four-quadrant regenerative dynamometer with Kistler Talk sensors for testing various reluctance and axial flux permanent magnet motor technologies. We have various research projects uh, funded by uh, Defense Labs, uh, that is the DRDO Labs. It is related to the uh, soft magnetic composite based axial flux motor technologies and also on high-speed machines. We also have collaboration with uh, industries such as Crompton Reeves and KSPs uh, where we worked on ceiling fan motor technology which is a switch reluctance motor and uh, pump motor technology. So uh, at High Voltage Lab in IIT Goa, so we work on uh, some of the leading research problem including development of super hydrophobic polymeric insulators, development of non-contacts to voltage measurement system for HV lines, uh, exploring possibilities of electromagnetic forming. We also work on developing codes for lightning induced over voltages, ground potential rays due to lightning. Our lab is funded through DST, Ministry of Power, HCPRI, ISRO. We also have industry collaborations and some of the consultations often given by Siemens and Apple USA. In Plasma Research and Application Lab, we work on the various industrial application of non-thermal plasma, basically the electrical discharge based plasma in the field of aerospace, agriculture and the environment. Our major focus is basically on designing a plasma reactor which should be compact, cost effective, scalable and flexible. We recently developed a plasma reactor which has shown the seed germination rate of almost 13% more as compared to other um, uh, procedure in agriculture field. We also work on the uh, uh, mitigation and monitoring of the gases pollutant coming out from the diesel engine exhaust and also how this uh, today's pollutant can be converted into the uh, tomorrow's material in the fuel like syngas, hydrogen and the hyd uh, graphene. This is the MEMS fabrication and characterization lab and uh, my research focus is uh, on the interaction of um, MEMS sensors, IoT systems and uh, the energy harvesting. So vision of my research is to uh, enable next generation smart uh, self um, sustainable energy harvesting devices for MEMS sensors. So basically what I do, I used to make uh, uh, the sensors which will be integrated with the IoT system to provide a complete uh, a solution for the disease diagnostics uh, including uh, drug delivery system and the point of care uh, disease diagnostics devices. So currently we are having a couple of research projects, uh, a few consultancy projects which are currently running 
uh, with, with my research group as well as uh, there are few startups which are working uh, to develop some uh, disease diagnostics uh, devices uh, in a collaboration uh, with, with my group. With the rabbit urbanization, noise level has been increasing around us either in the form of the construction noise, industrial noise or domestic noise. WHO has identified as the heading loss is one of the major challenges that are going to affect the young population severely. The hearing loss is mainly occurred due to the exposure of the loud sound, especially in the recreational setting. The traditional uh, passive noise control technique, which is the, the isolating or uh, observing material, are ineffective for the low frequency noise. So, to cancel the low frequency noise, active noise control technique is the front runner. The performance of the NC system mainly depends on the type of the algorithm and the type of the noise. The Acoustic and Communication Laboratory at IIT Goa, we focus on the development of the low complexity signal processing for the NC integrated assistive listening device. Also, we also here focus on the development of the low complexity signal processing for the 6G, like low complexity equalizer design for 6G. At Signal Processing Lab, we focus reconstruction of signals acquired in various kind of systems, mainly focusing on imaging system, which can be optical imaging system, or underwater acoustic and optical imaging system. Any real world signal we acquire are not of direct form. We must design the algorithms which can reconstruct these desired signals from the acquired signals. Let's take an example that we acquire, we want to acquire an image while moving or when our camera is not focusing or the lighting condition is not so good. We must restore the clean image from the acquired image to get back the information hidden inside the scene. Let's take an example of underwater imaging when lights get attenuated as we go deeper into the water. We would like to have the exact image which is proper color and having proper color composition and we must derive such algorithm that can reconstruct the image from the degraded images. I primarily work in the areas of wireless communications, in particularly the front-end signal processing for 5G, 6G wireless communications. And my research group primarily works in the areas of millimeter wave communications, full duplex networks, drone to drone communications, and machine learning based beam forming algorithms and so on. Our primary research area is in VLSI domain. We look at various aspects of analog integrated circuits and systems, both electronic and photonic ones. Our students look at various aspects of analog IC design. Um, one of our students uh, was looking at the uh, analog design automation using meta heuristic and ML uh, algorithms. So with that what we were able to do was that to speed up the analog design cycle which would have taken a longer time before but uh, with the use of these algorithms we were able to bring down the uh, life cycle, I mean design life cycle to a short span. Another important uh, research problem what we have undertaken is the design of uh, high speed comparators. Uh, comparators are uh, kind of, uh, I would say it is the heart of all sort of analog to digital converters which are a commonplace IC or block in all sort of in uh, electronic systems starting from your mobile phones or your computers to all electronic systems for that matter. So uh, we look at uh, the design of uh, for uh, electro-optic modulators to uh, uh, that is aimed for high speed uh, communication applications. And we also look at underwater optical communication. In this, uh, we make use of uh, visible light to carry the information one from one point to the other. So these are the major uh, research themes what we have in our uh, group. Uh, we also have uh, all, all the commercial uh, uh, design automation tools starting from Cadence, uh, Mandel Graphics, Synopsis, etc. Mainly supported through the C2S program of uh, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Thank you.